Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Today we're going to talk about a new WordPress theme that I have discovered. Not so long ago, about 10 months ago, I talked about Bloxy, that I believe is was one of the best, and still I still believe it's one of the best free WordPress theme you can find out there. About a year ago, I also talked about my top four WordPress theme, as you can see here. But today I discovered this new, fantastic, free WordPress theme, QI theme from Code Interactive. It comes completely free, packed with Android demos. You get add-ons for Elementor, for example, with a loads of um, widgets that we're going to discover. I'm also going to show you how to easily install a portfolio rather than install how to import a portfolio uh, layout from this fantastic theme. Here you can find all the information. Again, don't forget, guys, all the links in the description below. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. The more you share, the more videos I can do. And if you look to buy any of the products, for example, you can find some of my uh, affiliate links on my link tree. I get a small percentage. You would not pay anything extra, but I get paid, again, small percentage, so I can buy more products to show you. So now without any delay, let's go to my WordPress installation. I already go installation here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to appearance, themes, add new, and I'm going to search for QI. Here we go. We got it here. I'm going to press install. I'm going to activate and I'm going to install Q code essential add-on. It's quite hard to pronounce, but I think this is the right way. I might be wrong. Tell me in the description below if I made a mistake. As you can see, we are already there now. We got the essential. I'm going to go to the options, general. And here you can find all the information you need to get started with the actual template. Here you can uh, set your background color, uh, image if you want to. You can add the logo, the logo for the sticky, if you want just sticky uh, header on the top. Here you get the Google Fonts options. Again, if you go to Google websites, you can actually add a fonts that you like. You can actually search for it, for example. There we go, and you got the Google Fonts weight, the style. If you don't want it anymore, just click on the bin here and it will get away with it. Now, and let's go back to typography. Here you can set all the colors, the font family, the font size, and the line up and down, whatever for each of the H1, H2, up to H6. Then you got the link topography. You can change the color of the links and also for the paragraphs. Don't forget, again, don't forget to actually save the changes. To go back to the default, you can press reset all. Here you can get the header. You got the general settings, the main menu settings, and the scroll appearance settings. Fix it and sticky if you want the actual header to be sticky. All right, we go to general. Uh, we got four options here with the logo and the menu below. Logo left, left here as well with the two different type of menu. Here you got the menu itself. Here you got the uh, burger menu, whatever they call it. Here we got the menu on the left. Again, add the background, add the color, so on and so forth. Very simple to you know. You got the full screen menu as well if you want. You got the elements. And as you can see, this free theme is packed with features. Most of other templates, you gotta pay the pro version to get this. You know, here you got for free. You can set up for the portfolio, list and singles and uh, typography info for the portfolio. Again, all the information, font size, and whatever. Here you can go and import your layout. Now let's go to portfolio. I'm going to import the concept art. Again, you can import whatever you want. That's up to you. Now, before you do that, you got to install every single plugin before you start. So I'm going to do that. While I'm doing that, I'm going to pause. I'm going to do it all and then activate and come back. So as you can see, they all have been activated. We do the last one here and there we go. We're going to go and press for import all. Again, you got the choice of content, widgets, options, or everything you can import the attachment i believe this is they talk about the images so i'm gonna make sure it is clicked okay and i'm gonna press import press okay here and wait 
Here we go guys, the actual import is completed. All we gotta do now is, well, we can go to dashboard if you want to. And for now, let's say no thank you. Let's go and, and have a look at the actual website. And as you can see guys, I mean, wow, the actual site has been imported or the layout, I should say, it's been imported. I don't know why I always say the actual site, but it's the actual layout. We got the menu, works perfectly well. We got prints, we can actually sell. I think it's attached to the, exactly, it's attached to the WooCommerce, as you can see. In few simple steps, with one click, you get a full working e-commerce website, for example, for your portfolio. Completely the, uh, free, uh, and every single one of it, is simple to import as you see it before i mean every single one is with one click now i'm going to show you some of the widgets what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to concept art go to the main one i'm going to edit with elementor and let's have a look at the actual widgets that comes with this free theme so we got the basics as you want the the pro we got the general and as you can see we got the qi add-ons and those are all the, as you can see, there are many of those available. We got the QR code there, or code, that's not coming with it. We got the uh, blog list essential, portfolio list essentials. We even got the restaurant menu list essential. Type out text as well. Wow. Let's uh, let's have a look here. Uh, wait, we can put it, let's put it on top of it. Wow. As you can see, the typing there. As you can see, typing example or typing text or whatever. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, the, the difference here, as you can see, text example is are those ones here, okay? So you type whatever you want on top here. That is the static. And those three are the three different. And I do believe you also have the latency. So how long it takes. You got the cursor character, fantastic. Developer tools. Let's have a look, uh, motion effects, mask border, style. No, I can't find the actual delay. No, that's the actual motion effects there, it's not. No, I can't see where you change it. It might be changing the options. I will have a look in a minute. But as you can see, it's so simple, easy, and you got all these, if, you know, all these widgets that comes free of charge with the actual theme and trust me there are loads of them and this is what i like about this template it's free and it's full packed with features and widgets for elementor and that's what really you need so apart of that let's have a look again on the options of the uh i should go on here for example let's go to options let's see if we find anything about i don't think i i will have to have a look on the uh on the help page here, help center dot code interactive on how to change the uh, the speed of the actual text there. Uh, but otherwise, it's a fantastic, uh, you know, as you will see there, it's fantastic uh, template, very easy to use and uh, it's great. I don't want to bore you with uh, a, lot, a lot of uh, chatting. So anyway, this is the actual uh, small tutorial on how to get started with this fantastic free theme. I hope you liked it, uh, download it, give it a go. Don't forget, if you don't have WordPress, don't forget to go. Let's go and have a look to my website there, link tree. I'm not sure if I got it here, taste WP, no. But if you go to my channel there, about, I don't know if I got it here. I might not get it here. Um, no, I don't. I, I'll, I'll show, you know, I hope to put the... Um, the link here but you can go to test wp and as i showed you on my it wasn't previous i think it was the other one i talk about test wp free where you can actually have your wordpress installation so you can try for six days right so i hope you liked it guys and i hope you enjoyed this small tutorial and i'll see you next time where i make it a a fig jet plugin again i'm not sure yet i, I might do um uh, because I did been asked I to install a cyber panel on a server. So I might do that one first. I'm not sure yet. So anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.